What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And today in this video, I wanna talk about how to spot a powerful person, okay? So before I get started, take a second to give this video a thumbs up and to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And so let's get right into it. Now, when I look at somebody and I'm sizing them up, just to, you know, cause sometimes as guys, we, we do this, right? Like um, we look at a guy and then we're, we're thinking, hmm, we're kind of assessing like, the danger level, the potential danger level, like his his uh, his strength, so to speak, his how powerful is this guy? You know, kind of like in Dragon Ball. Uh, for you guys who know Dragon Ball, you know they had that uh, Vegeta and and uh, those guys when they came to Earth, right? They had that little thing there, and uh, they were able to measure like the power, you know, the person's power. Uh, so yeah, you know, kind of like that. So. And, and we do this instinctively, you know, I guess it's, it's just part of our, our nature to do it, right? So me, um, when I look at somebody, the first thing I look at is the neck, okay? So if the guy has a scrawny neck, I'm thinking to myself, I could probably choke this guy out. And if I punch him and I get him like flesh here, most likely uh, he won't be able to absorb the impact as well. And, uh, you know, it would be easier to knock him out, okay? So that's why a lot of guys, grapplers tend to have big necks. Um... Also, boxers, they train their neck a lot, even wrestlers. So, you know, a lot of the guys who do a lot of combat sports, they tend to have a thick neck. Like, I, I, can't, I don't know if you guys can tell from, from here, but maybe not, but my neck is pretty, it's, it, it's big enough for, you know, it's not scrawny. I mean, you look at it and it's pretty, it's not like, like a little twig here holding up a head, you know, it, it's, it's full, okay? Anyways, it doesn't matter. It, it's kind of hard to tell, like, the way I'm, I, I don't want to spend too much time trying to adjust my my head and the distance uh, with the camera and everything. So that's the first thing I look at. The second thing I look at is really the back, okay? The upper back, okay? Because a well-developed upper back means that this guy, this guy, chances are like he trains, it's, it's, that's where power, like posterior chain, it's so much more important. A guy that has a strong back, upper back, and lower back, but usually you could tell by just looking at the upper back. If it's like bumpy and shit, and it's you see it's muscular and you see it through the t-shirt, chances are this guy is powerful. Okay. Uh, once again, like everything I'm saying here, it does. It's not the absolute truth. I mean, it doesn't mean that uh, he'll be able to whoop your your ass or or vice versa. I'm just saying, guys who have like thick upper back muscles that pop out of their t-shirt. I mean, those guys tend to be powerful, okay? Now, do they know how to fight? Eh, we don't know, but powerful, definitely. Then after that, the legs, okay? If you, okay, well, let me go back just on this, uh, on this point for one second. So if you see a guy in the gym or just walking out, you know, in the street in the summer and you see he has a big chest, big shoulders, big arms and stuff like that, if you look at his back, like that's what I always do. I look at the back. If I see that his his upper back is flat, I'm not I'm not worried at all, man. I know that he's not that powerful. You know, he might be powerful like just pushing pushing like for the show muscles in front, but the back it's where it's at. That's where real like you know the posterior chain, the back, the legs. That's where real power comes from. Real explosion and shit like that. You know. So if I see a guy who has a lot of uh, show muscles, big show muscles, but then I look at his back and there's like nothing. It's fucking, you know, like they could be wide, right? They might have that V taper, you know, because they have like, they train their lats a lot. But if that upper back is, is puny and it's not, you know, it's flat pretty much and there's no development there, like I know I could crush him. I know that if I grab him, I'll, I'll turn him into, I'll, you know, I'll crush him like this and I'll throw him away. That'll, it, that'll be it, you know? And, uh, yep. So that's, that's, the, uh, that's the second thing. And then uh, the third thing is the legs. Okay, so the legs, I look at, the, it's kind of hard to tell, of course, if um, like if the guy's wearing, you know, baggy pants, so to speak, you know. But if he's wearing shorts or like tight, uh, tight pants, stuff like that, and you see his legs are relatively big com to, uh, uh, compared to his torso, his upper body. That means he's solid. He has a very solid foundation and he could explode because that's where explosion and, and everything comes from. You gotta push off the ground. So if you have big ass muscles in your legs and you're able to push off the ground really hard, then you're able to go, to explode. So you're powerful, okay? And then the other thing that I look at is, um, uh, 
wait, this is the third thing. So you had the neck, upper back, legs, right? So the fourth thing I look at, right, is the forearms, okay? So how big his forearms, how big and muscular his forearms are. And um, that, that to me is a good indication of, um, of power also because you guys have to remember that if you're lifting heavy shit, okay, so you're grabbing it with your hands and you're squeezing it really hard. So by doing that, a lot of times, well, you know, your forearms, they, they become bigger. So that's how I, I, that's how I tell if uh, somebody is powerful or not. So I look at those four things. So just to reiterate, I look at the neck, I look at the upper back, I look at the, uh, the legs, and I look at the, uh, the forearms, okay? Like how big and how muscular his forearms look. And of course, if um, I'm not saying that if a guy is, uh, is lacking in one of these four or lacking in all four of them, like, like it means that he's weak. But when I see a guy who has those four things, like I'm like, oof, this guy's powerful, you know? Um, and... Uh, not that I would, of course, you just have to have that in mind if you're going to fuck with them. Uh, you shouldn't be fucking with people, by the way. But, uh, and even if they are, they don't, they're missing all of these four things, I mean, it doesn't mean that you should be fucking with them, right? It just means, I'm just telling you guys, like, this is, this is how I size up somebody when I look at them. If I see big-ass forearms, big-ass neck, big-ass back, upper back, you know, big-ass legs, whew. This guy, man, he ain't gonna be a picnic. Like if you, if you, if you get down with him, eesh, you throw down with him. Like it might, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be painful, man. And uh, so, so that's it for this video. I hope that that helps, guys. Um, and uh, it was informative, you know, some value. And um, next time you guys walk around, right, and you guys are sizing up a guy, you know, because we do it instinctively, and sometimes it's it's fun to do this. You just look at a guy; it's kind of like you're analyzing your opponent, you know, so to speak. And the more you you can kind of figure out about your opponent, the better it is uh, for you, right? Well, once again, you shouldn't be fighting in the street, but I mean, just for for general um, knowledge, it's it's kind of cool to be able to look at somebody and to see, kind of figure out, you know, without him actually saying anything, if he's powerful or not. But uh, okay, that's it for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, um. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.